Some basic biological principles must be understood before a pond can be properly managed. Several factors influence the productivity of a pond and thus the quantity of fish available for harvest. Those factors include proper construction, nutrients, the quality and amount of fish food, proper brood stock, the elimination of unwanted competitive species, and the adequate harvest of surplus fish. Carrying capacity and yield limit are terms often used by biologists when discussing the management of fish populations. The carrying capacity of a pond is the maximum pounds of fish that can be maintained in the pond without depleting the food supply. Yield limit is the maximum pounds of harvestable size fish that can be removed from a pond year after year without having a detrimental effect on the balance of the fish population. The yield limit is dependent on the species of fish present, the amount of food available to the fish, the rate of harvest, and other factors. Yield limit, as used in this video, refers to the harvest of brim and largemouth bass since this stocking combination is normally used in Alabama. Nutrients increase the amount of food available to the fish, which results in greater fish production. They're needed to promote plankton, which are microscopic plants and animals that determine the color of the water in your pond. Plankton form the base of the food chain in bass and brim ponds. They are consumed by small microscopic insects, which are then eaten by the fish. But plankton cannot grow without an adequate amount of nutrients and sunlight. The primary nutrients of plankton are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, but they are usually not found at sufficient levels in ponds to produce large enough plankton populations for the fish to feed on, so nutrients must be added for maximum fish production. Nutrients are usually applied in the form of commercially produced fertilizers. Ponds that are fertilized and managed properly can yield about 175 pounds of brim and largemouth bass per acre per year. In comparison, unfertilized ponds will yield only 25 to 50 pounds per acre annually. The total weight of fish that a pond supports may be comprised of many fish too small to be desired by anglers or a lesser number of large fish. A desirable bass brim population is one in which 60 to 85 percent of the total weight is composed of harvestable size fish. If a pond maintains such a population and provides satisfactory yields of fish from year to year, it is considered to have a balanced fish population. The time of year the pond is stocked is critical in achieving a balanced fish population. Brim are stocked in the fall or winter and bass are stocked the following May or June. A brim and largemouth bass population normally attains a balanced condition 12 to 14 months after the bass fingerlings are stocked. During the first 20 months after brim are stocked, growth and reproduction rates are very high. The pond experiences a population explosion because large amounts of food are available. The fish reproduce and increase in weight until most of the food is utilized. At that time, their growth rates decrease or stop until some of the fish die or are caught. Usually some fish should be harvested one year after the initial stocking of the bass. As fish are removed, competition for food decreases, growth rates increase, and the remaining fish reproduce to replace older, larger fish that have been harvested. The rate at which fish are harvested must be controlled, especially during the first few weeks of fishing. When a fish population first attains a balanced condition, the total weight is comprised primarily of harvestable size adults, which grow from the initial stock. Most of the remaining weight is composed of small one to five inch fish that are offspring of the initial stock. Rapid harvest of adults or removal of too many adults can result in excessive numbers of small fish, which can lead to poor fishing. A desirable yield from a properly managed pond is about 145 pounds of brim and 30 pounds of largemouth bass per acre per year. This catch should be spread out over the entire year rather than over a few days or weeks. Therefore, an accurate record of the numbers and weights of bass and brim removed from the pond is very important. A set of weighing scales and a notebook should be readily available for anglers to log in their catch after each trip. Proper pond management requires an understanding of harvest, 
both above and even below recommended rates. Each pair of adult bluegill may produce over 5,000 offspring each season. Bluegills grow and multiply faster when their food supply is increased. Therefore, a sudden removal of too many pounds of adult fish will result in an accelerated growth and reproduction by the brim that remain. The outcome may be a population of stunted brim that are too small to be desirable. And since the diet of adult largemouth bass consists almost entirely of small brim, the removal of bass must be controlled. If bass are caught faster than they are replaced by natural reproduction, the result can also be an overpopulation of small stunted brim.